we are going to solve two questions in this presentation and the question number one is calculate the phase angle between voltage v1 and voltage v2 and also state which sinusoid is leading voltage v1 is equal to negative of 10 cos omega t plus 50 degrees and voltage v2 is equal to 12 sin omega t minus 10 degrees and we are required to find the phase angle between v1 and v2 and also we are required to find out out of v1 and v2 which voltage is leading and we know in order to compare two sinusoids the first condition is they should have the same frequency v1 is having the frequency omega and v2 is also having the same frequency that is omega so both v1 and v2 have the same frequency and hence we can say that the first condition is satisfied now moving on to the second condition they should have the same form v1 is a cosine function and v2 is a sine function and hence they don't have the same form the third condition is the amplitudes of the two sinusoids must have the same sign either they can have the positive and positive sign or they can have the negative and negative sign in our case v1 is having the negative sign but v2 is having the positive sign and therefore the third condition is also not satisfied and therefore it is very much clear that we cannot compare v1 and v2 with the forms given in the question we can either convert sign to cos or we can convert this cos to sine with the same signs in the amplitude and we know that if there is a function vm sine theta and if we perform the right shifting by 90 degrees we will have a new function vm sine theta minus 90 degrees and this function is same as the function negative of vm cos theta and when you compare negative of vm cos theta with v1 which is negative of 10 cos omega t plus 50 degrees you will find vm is equal to 10 and theta is equal to omega t plus 50 degrees and therefore from here we can say that 10 sin omega t minus 40 degrees will be equal to v1 on putting theta equal to omega t plus 50 degrees here we will have omega t minus 40 degrees and this function with 10 as vm and theta as omega t plus 50 degrees is equal to v1 and therefore this function with the same values of vm and theta will also be v1 now when you compare v1 and v2 you will find we have the same frequency we have the same form and also we have the same sign in the amplitude and therefore we can compare v1 and v2 and when you compare v1 with v2 you will find v1 will be 0 when omega t is equal to 40 degrees and v2 will be 0 when omega t is equal to 10 degrees you can plot the waveform of v1 and v2 and you will find it is something like this you can continue and on comparison you can see that there is phase difference of 40 minus 10 that is 30 degrees and this is the plot of v2 and this is the plot of v1 and you can see that v2 is leading v1 by 30 degrees so this is all for question number one and now we will move on to question number two vt equal to 5 sin 4 pi t minus 60 degrees is our signal and we are required to calculate the amplitude phase angular frequency period and frequency of this signal we have vt equal to 5 sin 4 pi t minus 60 degrees when we will compare it with the standard form we will have 
Vm, which is the amplitude is equal to 5. Omega, which is the angular frequency is equal to 4 pi and the unit will be radians per second. Phi, which is the phase is equal to 60 degrees. And we also know that the time period is equal to 2 pi divided by omega. From here, T will be 2 pi divided by 4 pi. And this implies the time period is equal to 0 0.5 second. So we have calculated amplitude, phase, angular frequency, period. And the only thing required to calculate is frequency. And we know frequency is equal to 1 over the time period and therefore frequency is equal to 2 hertz. So this is all for question number 2 and now we will move on to the homework problem. This is the homework problem. Read it and then solve it and once you have your answer post it in comment section.